Hello beautiful diamond, I hope you're doing good. Today we're gonna be reacting to what all the A-listers across the continent were wearing at the Bridgerton, a Bridgerton affair. Listen, people were dressed to the tea and we're here to serve the tea. The first person we're gonna be reacting to is the queen herself, Zosbini. She's the one that was hosting the event. And listen, she brought everything. She brought the colors of the Bridgerton house. Bridgerton is all about the lilacs, the soft colors, the light purples, the pastel purples, blues. I mean, I love her dress from the draperies on her arm, the silk, the purple, I don't know, lilac, lavender. I mean, she is just giving. And the theme was with a touch of African. I think that's why she has the beads. It's just an amazing design. And it looks like a painting with all the strokes that are on the dress i mean i am loving this dress let me know if she was one of your faves in terms of the fashion Ooh. the next person we are reacting to is toki makinwa listen she brought ballroom and sexy all together that green is giving me everything and the fan i told you the fan the fan it's all about the fan okay she has like a green fan going on there and i like the way it's almost like a corset that's hugging her and then the headpiece that's like a crown i mean she understood the assignment let me know what you think of this i love everything about this it's sexy it's just bringing out the bosom and the top and everywhere else it's covered it's like that ballroom you know she just belongs if she were to walk in to the ballroom of Bridgerton she would just blend in with everybody and listen I love the representation that was happening in season 2 let me know if you enjoyed season 2 or season 1 in the comments down below oh Toki you brought the fire and then the next person I'm reacting to is Rahama Sadao oh the pastel plush pinks it looks like feathers and silk i think the theme was silk and she has the pearls the feathers on her shoulder i mean it's just making sense the purse the gloves ah oh, it's just draping it she looks like a beautiful flamingo let me know what you think because it's giving and the hair she understood the assignment period Ooh, okay 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 i see i see kefi kefi i don't know who the other lady is that she came in i think it was a plus one please let me know who the lady in the blue is they look amazing it's like i don't know it's like a lace type of material that they're wearing and it kind of just goes out like a peplum dress the material is amazing kefi just kept it nice and simple so that you could focus on her you can never go wrong with black but i also love the pastel blue it goes with the colors of the show let me know what you think of these beautiful ladies okay 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 it's giving okay it's really really giving there they are again kefira mabote there she is mm. hey, 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 hey. it's it's totally giving Ooh. the next person that understood the assignment was sharon no Oja. i hope i'm saying that right because there were other people from when i say from the continent there were nigerians there were kenyans there were south africans people from all over this gown is everything. It goes with the theme. It goes with the time that this series was shot. The blue, the design in the middle there, and then just the mermaid type of dress that's going out there. I think the theme this time was, you know, show a bit of cleavage, have something going on with the puffy arms. I like them that are kind of drooping down into like a halter neck kind of situation. Oh, she is giving. And the headpiece that's nice and simple. I love this dress listen i love this dress it's giving and the silk like i said silk is the one that's actually doing the most this time Woo. hi 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 toki's dress is like the talk of the show right now mm. tando tabete she brought in the white and the gold the silk the feathers oh i love the hat i love the hat that's on the side there oh it's listen it's giving the gloves the bag it's working and the mermaid type of dress like people are understanding the assignment and the red lipstick you can't go wrong with red lipstick it just pops in the right ways white and gold just work with each other it just it just does the things okay it really does the things Ooh, the next person we're reacting to here is pamela mtanga 
She is wearing white, honey, with the umbrella and everything. Oh, and the drapery and the designs that are on her dress. It almost looks like it's a wedding dress. I know there was weddings that were supposed to happen in this show that almost happened, and she is giving me that. She understood everything that is happening i really really love this look white is such i don't know it, it just works with this dress Ooh, ayanda nwane she was dressed by upopo her brother her brother is an amazing designer she brought animal print she brought you know she was just in there like it's just leopard print it's just animal print throughout and she, if you know, if you've been watching Real Housewives of Durban first season, she was my woman. I don't even know why she left, but listen, it's giving. She is doing everything. Oh, I love the detail that goes down. I'm not sure what kind of, it looks like a velvety material. And she has the little hat, the decor hat here. Oh, it's making sense. And the red lip to just pair it off. I mean, the material just matches her skin tone. It is making sense. Umedem. Umedem just entered. The next person we are reacting to is Kaimbao. Hey, does she ever miss? She always understands the assignment. I love the gele that she's wearing, the African part of the outfit, and the dress. I don't know if it's like a gold or a light yellow that's transparent. The detail, the rouge detail on top, and then the peplum design going down, and then those silver accents. I don't know if they are like diamonds or something like that. I can't really see from here. It is making sense. I feel like a lot of people went in with the red lip and it was making sense. The whole outfit is just speaking. It's literally just speaking. All from this angle is a cream dress, cream. The next person I'm reacting to is Ken Shaw with the cane and the handbag. Oh, listen, it's the vibes. She's just giving, you know, mature lady, but listen, stylistic. I like the design in the middle there. It looks like flowers and fruits and then the velvet uh, gown that's on top. That's like a kind of covering, almost like a gown, almost like a coat that's covering her. I love it. And that green money, baby, it symbolizes royalty and money. She is giving. The next person I'm reacting to is Mary J. Black. The yellow dress, she's reminding me of Penelope. Penelope from the series, she gives vibes, she gives color. I love her for that. If I had anything colorful, I would have worn it for this video. From the headpiece that's there, it looks like it's flowers or it's feathers. And then the chiffon that's coming down her shoulders. Ah, and the body hugging dress. And that tail that's at the back, that's like ruffles. Ooh, and the shoes, it's giving everything. Let me know, like clear yellow would be my next favorite color at this point because she nailed it. Ooh, honey, red, white, gold. The detail on the hand there, almost close to her hand there. And then the handbag, ooh, and the feather decor in the hair. I mean, she would have walked into the ball and just blended in. But at the same time, she would have stood out. Kenyan superstar, chic Kenya. Kenyan superstar, sorry, Kate underscore actress. She brought it. Shout out to Kenya for coming through and representing. Okay. The next person I'm reacting to her outfit, Lerato Hamanye, pink. Can't go wrong with pink. It's my favorite color. We got the pink nails. We're doing the thing. Oh, the detail. I don't even know how they made that dress just stay like that. The openness. It's almost like a half ballroom gown dress. Then in the middle, it's short. I love the ruffle detail on top. The silk, the gloves. Mm. Ooh. We have Mohale here and he brought a guest and it's giving African king vibes. The yellow, the design on it and then this, the, the guest that he brought in is wearing like how the Nigerians wear like the igwes with the, with the neck decor. The igwes usually wear like just uh, Zambia. I don't know if that, that's what you call it in your language or what it's called but I am loving the details. I guess they never miss. I just wanted to see how the men were doing their fashion this season and they nailed it. I'm just going, ooh, ooh, look at that dress. Look at that dress. Namibian Ben Masui at the Bridgerton Affair. Ooh, 
she is giving it's, it has like traditional things on it i think when i saw uh zos Benny's video she was saying she has her whole tribe on that dress of her whole culture it shows it's giving it's giving african it's giving amazing it's giving all the things it is supposed to give i love the head wrap you know just shows she's not showing skin but she's showing enough she's just showing enough you don't need to show skin to look good that's what she's saying over here she looks classy i love the hand detail at the end just kind of flares out and the dress just fits her body and it just goes out listen i am here for this outfit it is making so much sense the next person i am going to be reacting to is zoe sutwana oh that pink she came in with shocking pink but in a classy way everyone is giving ballroom but i like the fact that in the middle there it kind of has a slit just something different from everybody else you know the puffy sleeves the gloves everything is just making sense and the pearls and i think that silk as well silk material i like the detail that's on top there like a flowery detail that was i think crocheted there if i'm not mistaken oh look at that mm, mm, mm. camo underscore moth oh wow like wow i don't know it's like a royalish blue but it's light it should i say pastel blue because pastel is lighter than this the puffy sleeves just that drapery that's going on there with the flowers on it ah oh, and the carriage it gives bridgerton vibes it, it just gives and then there's Sloni modise red just making sense the red detail on the top there that that red that just pops i love the design on the sides i don't know if that's swish material but it's beautiful and the nice alice bun on top she's just making it work and the red choker but it's like a nice traditional choker that you want should we call it a choker or a neck piece i could go on reacting to everyone that was there at this event but we would be here for all day so i just went on the hashtag a bridget in affair and this is the outfits that popped up first and i just had to react to the ones that were standing out the most that were up there obviously there's so many guests that were at the event if i have to react to everyone's dress i would run out of time let me know who was your favorite in the comments down below let's have a conversation and what do you think of the outfits what did you think of bridget in season two because i binged it and i love it i don't want to put any spoilers because it just launched this weekend i want to know what you thought if you binged it like i did what did you think of the outfits who was the best dressed for you and who was you know on the mm -mm. but i didn't see any outfits that went the, mm -mm. they were just yes ma'am i understood the assignment they understood the assignment thank you so much for watching this video diamond subscribe for more videos like this on the channel like comment down below i want to hear what you think and i'll see you in my next video much love and light Mwah.